First of all, we're going to create a library. Go up to the top, File New Library. It's going to place it in the Movies folder. It's going to be an abstract edit, so we're just naming it and saving it. We're going to make a new project, and that can be named Abstract Cut, and the default settings are fine. We're going to then we're going to import our media, so Command I and import the clip that I've shared with you. And then from uh, the library, we're going to drag that down onto the timeline in our project to work on. We've got a playhead that we can scrub, and I've turned N on over to the right, N turned snapping on. Now at this point, we're going to cut a mask out around the, uh, the person's arm and hand. We're going to duplicate the clip. So option, shift and drag the clip up. We'll duplicate the clip and place it on another layer. And we're going to drag out a color correction effect over the top of that top, over that clear. And we're going to open up that color correction effect and desaturate the clip. So we went to saturation and we turned all the saturation down. So we've got a black and white clip. Hit V, you can turn the clip on and off to see how things look because we've got a layer underneath with color. We're going to cut a mask around the arm and the hand. To do that, we're going to go to the draw mask and drag that draw mask effect over the top of the top clip. Now you can see the draw mask effect and you can hide or open that up. Now we've got a little icon of a nib and that's going to add anchor points. So uh, you'll see a little plus sign next to it. When you click, it'll add anchor points. So you can create some anchor points. Don't make too many, don't want to make too much work for yourself. When you go back to the beginning, uh, you'll see a little zero appear. That means it's going to close in that selection. All right. Now that just went gray because we've got a black and white layer over the top of a color layer. If I turn the bottom layer off by hitting V, you can see the mask is black and the hand is uh, as, as it would be in black and white. Now you can move those anchor points. Uh, you can convert them by control clicking them so they're smooth and they've got handles, so you can manipulate them and uh, get them to fit more accurately. Now, we are, we're at one point in the timeline and we want to save what we've done. So we're going to create a keyframe over to the right. There's a little diamond and if you click that, it'll add a keyframe and it remembers where all those points were at that, po at that location on the timeline. So at that time, we're going to create uh, uh, some changes with our anchor points further along the timeline. So we're going to, we dragged our playhead along and we're moving our anchor points so they're in a different location. They match the action. Now you don't need to click that diamond again. It auto created the keyframes. Now, if you tween or you scrub in between those two anchor points, you can see that those uh, they've animated and you can use these little icons to flick between each keyframe. So if you want to go forwards and backwards and make some changes, there's a feather effect. You can add a blur. You can invert the mask, which would just basically swap what you've done from the hand to the outside of the hand will be uh, affected, so that's just inverting your selection. It's going to be much easier to work with your selection that was made in the initial mode to be more effective in drawing and tracing the action that you're following on the screen.